Hey guys and welcome to Rosa Scale. So first a very short community announcement. Believe it or not, but my channel has gotten a copyright strike. So for the next two weeks I ask you to support my videos with likes and comments. Thank you. <laughs> now back to the topic of the video, which is seven cool use cases for SEO writing. SEO writing is one of the two A writing tools that I recommend. It's pretty inexpensive, it's very user friendly, it's quality. With that out of the way, let's start with the first use case, which is using SEO writing for programmatic SEO. And this is probably one of my favoritest use cases. So all you need to do is go to bulk generation. Here you can insert your main keyword, your title, your keywords, which are NLP generated keywords and your outlines. And you can do it manually, but I suggest you do it via the Excel file. The Excel file should look like this. So the first column would be title then keywords, which is the long tail NLP keywords, then the outline. And there are some peculiarities about the outline. It has to be in this formatting here, but I have developed a prompt that would help you with programmatic SEO. So all you need is an empty template with this title or columns pre-populated, main keyword, title, keywords, and outline. Then you go to ChatGPT. You can use GPT for O for this. Then you insert this empty template and you run this prompt. Give me 50 programmatic SEO keywords for best running shoes for X, and this is just an example. Best running shoes for trail, best running shoes for marathon, best running shoes for bad knees, and stuff like that. Populate all the columns in the Excel sheet where keywords are highly relevant LSI, NLP keywords, and entities associated with the main keyword and outline is a search intent driven 10 section article outline formatted as and this stands for a title this stands for h2s and this special character stands for h3s and then you finish it off with save all in the provided excel file let's run this so this is the response that i've gotten i have generated 50 programmatic seo keywords for best running shoes for x including relevant osi nlp keywords you can download the updated file here let's take a look and i I can already see that we've gotten 51 suggestions with relevant outlines in the correct format. So all you have to do is go to bulk article generation mode, choose import from Excel, and these are your programmatic SEO outlines and keywords. Then you can choose the article type, which would be a listicle, article size medium, tone of voice, you can say friendly with point of view, I, me, my, mine, target country, United States, text readability, I like grade 7, then AA model, and this is important. So for programmatic SEO, I would choose the most inexpensive model. So we can either go for mix of models or light versions of GPT-4. I would go for GPT-4 O Mini and 4 O. AA content cleaning. I have a video about uh, using basic and extended words. And basically I saw no direct correlation between the removal of the words and the improved A detection score. So I would choose no A words removal, brand voice. I will be selecting my brand voice. I don't need any details to include. For media help, you can choose images and videos. As far as structure, so you can start with a the question. Then for the formatting, I don't use quotes. I don't use FAQs. Everything else looks okay. Okay. You should and you can include internal and external linking. Always choose connect to web. Then as far as source date, if you want to be 100% on point, you can choose last month. For syndication, we will look at this option later. So just choose no for now. And you can obviously publish to your website. So if you click run, you should start seeing these uh, articles pop up one by one. So this is use case number one, programmatic SEO. Use case number two has to do with bulk generation as well. But this is to support Pinterest. So as you know, Pinterest is one of the few ways of uh, attracting a lot of traffic without relying or overly relying on Google. And so the way Pinterest works, it has to lead somewhere. So you cannot just lead to your affiliate program. You'd better lead to a blog post that contains all the links that you want. Now, this is not a video on how to choose your Pinterest niche. One of the niches that I've been toying with is carnivore diet. It's not as popular as keto diet and it's on the rise. So obviously you can go to ChatGPT and you can choose the advanced model. Give me 50 viral pin ideas for Pinterest for the carnivore diet niche. 
7 day carnivore diet meal plan, carnivore grocery haul checklist, high protein carnivore breakfast ideas, carnivore diet beginners 5 common mistakes to avoid, and then they all look very solid and you just know that they're going to be very visually pleasing and then all you have to do is turn them into keywords you already have your title and then you can follow what i did with programmatic seo to come up with outlines and pump up 50 articles easily carnivore diet results this is very popular iron boost on carnivore zero carb carnivore pizza is it possible so i actually like these ideas and then again your seo writing bulk article generation mode acts as landing pages for those individual pins so this is use case number two extremely popular and you don't have to worry about seo optimizing your articles so this is just to support your pinterest efforts use case number three is basically creating a highly factual blog post let's choose a topic like how to spot a crypto pump early which is an actual keyword let's generate a title okay it doesn't contain the keyword so i would need to adjust it slightly and obviously we'd have to check for the character count here but this is a highly clickable uh, title then article type i would choose how to guide article size large a model and here i would actually go for the most expensive model which is the gpt 401 reasoning point of view once again i mean mine target country united states text great readability let's choose the default setting here my brand voice media hub yes we need images and youtube videos i want them to alternate image style it doesn't really matter here let's just go for none for the structure once again no quotes although we can actually leave in faqs i think that will be helpful you need to choose the website for internal and external linking type yes for connect to web again here i would go for recent information last month here i can actually turn location because i want this article to be supported across different media now for the outline editor we'll let ai decide what it's going to be because i have chosen a pretty good model so it should be okay and this time around let's actually generate an article to see how it looks like so the article is ready let's take a look and i've just noticed that i have generated over 2000 articles with seo writing so far and most of them are in bulk generation mode how to spot a crypto pump early tips for the 2025 bull run that's a table that i left in okay key takeaways introduction to crypto pumps market behavior before a pump this is very relevant how to spot a crypto pump early tools and indicators to monitor risk management essentials decoding whale movements community signals to watch the role of timing, red flags, preparing for a 2025 bull run, choosing the right exchange, diversifying your crypto portfolio, setting realistic profit targets, learning from past market cycles, and a conclusion followed by an FAQ. So very well researched article with relevant tables, charts, and the images look pretty good. So that was use case number three. Use case number four has to do with using SEO writing for non-English low competition niches. And I have a pretty good prompt that you can get from my free chat prompts library you get it when you subscribe to my newsletter and we'll be using perplexity for identifying those niches let's choose a the o1 reasoning model in thread and this is the prompt you are tasked with suggesting 10 low competition on english blogging sub niches within a given broad niche these sub niches should have potential for good search volume but not be oversaturated here's how to approach this task the broad niche you'll be working with is crypto for this task consider following definitions when generating sub niche ideas blah 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 ensure all sub niches are directly related to the given broad niche remember to be creative and think outside of the box while still remaining relevant I like this prompt a lot let's see what it spits out okay interesting <laughs> here are 10 low competition on english blogging sub niches within the crypto niche cryptocurrencies for retirees in russian cryptocurrencies and taxes in austria cryptocurrencies in agriculture spanish cryptocurrency for charity ukraine cryptocurrency and environmental impacts finnish cryptocurrencies and small italian businesses cryptocurrencies in art in russian cryptocurrencies for freelancers in german cryptocurrencies and remittances in latin america spanish and crypto and the anime industry japanese so pretty creative i would say so you can test any of these niches say cryptocurrencies for retirees in russian since i am russian and you can follow the same process you can say give me 50 keyword ideas for niche number one mm -hmm. and this is in russian but these are all very valid keywords 
and then you just follow the same process you create an excel sheet this would be the title then the outline and then you just feed everything back into seo writings bulk article generation and choose the gpt o and gpt 4 o mini models so another use case which is use case number five is using seo writing to do youtube to video I know that SEO writing does not have that feature explicitly, but you can still use it for turning your YouTube videos into great article ideas. So let's use our canonical example of does agility writer pass AI detection. We'll use the same for the title. Then let's just go to Google and one of my, actually three of my YouTube videos are popping up. Let's choose the most recent one, which is this one. Now you can grab a summary or you can grab a link go back to ChatGPT. I have a GPT called Walk script and you need to be aware of this little limitation which is 100 characters because details to include is the section that we're going to be feeding our transcript to. Summarize this video in 1000 characters or less with a focus on data, case studies and statistics. Now what it did, it actually extracted the most important information from this video. Now we can do, because it starts with this video, rewrite as a case study. Beautiful. It worked even better. Hopefully it's under 1000 characters. Let's take a look. No, it's not. Shorten the above to fit 1000 characters. Mm -hmm. Much better. So we have all the necessary information here. Uh, for the model, uh, let's go for something mid tier, which is called 3.5 Sonnet. Article type, this would be a case study. Point of view, I. Target country, United States. We'll be using my brand voice. Okay. No quotes or FAQs. And yeah, let's just run this. And now this is my article written in my brand voice that contains all the information from my YouTube video. So this is data from uh, the experiment. And yeah, so this is beautiful. This is one of the better ways of using SEO writing. So use case number six has to do with content syndication. I said we were going to go back to this. So I did this for how to spot a crypto pump. So if you chose syndication prior to generating your article, all you have to do is just click on syndication once again. And here you have different formats. So you have a Twitter post along with crypto hashtags, relevant hashtags. Then you have the LinkedIn post, a Facebook post, an email newsletter, master crypto pumps, your guide to the 2025 bull run, a Pinterest pin. And yeah, so this is an amazing opportunity for you to leverage the power of other media to promote your article. This is use case number six. Last one is AI detection. So SEO writing can be used to bypass AI detection with specific settings. So let's just go to one click blog post. Let's choose another canonical example, which would be CanDocs Eat Longan. We use the same for the title. Article size, let's go for medium. Article type, this would be on time to between none and opinion piece. Let's just choose opinion piece. Now for the AI model, I'll go with Cloth 3.5 Sonnet. Tone of voice, casual, point of view, I, target country, United States. No AI words, brand voice. Let's choose my brand voice. Now for the readability level, let's go for grade 5. And as far as structure, I don't want any tables, no H3s, no lists, no key takeaways, no FAQs, no quotes, nothing. I just want plain text. And let's just run this. Okay, this is the article. Beautiful images. Let's copy the text. Let's check readability first. And this is great for readability. Now let's paste this bad boy to zero GPT. And as you can see, this is almost a perfect score. 95% human, which means that SEO writing can in fact be used to bypass the action. So guys, to sum up, the seven use cases are programmatic SEO, using SEO writing for supporting your Pinterest efforts, writing factually accurate articles, then non-English low competition niches, then using SEO writing for YouTube to video conversion, and finally for content syndication and AI detection. Also, remember that I have a 25% discount code that you can apply and get the best SEO writing as far as price as well. Don't forget to like this video. I really need it right now since I've got a strike. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time. Cheers.